be like this I never thought that, that it would be like this so, But now I'm coming with a new plan Gonna take a stand, gonna find a way to change the game You tell me that I should stay Trust what you say and that it's all okay But everything starts to feel like a con And I'm the pawn, am I right or wrong? Welcome to another episode of Knock On. This week, we're running with the wolf pack down in the Monster Buck State of Illinois. This is not only home to some giant deer, but also our good friends, Jared and Jeff from Lone Wolf Tree Stands. Now the first hunt kicks off two years ago when I was having some bad luck in another area of Illinois, and I got this invite to head into the wolf den. I wasted no time, and my cameraman Thomas and I quickly found ourselves thick in rutting action. Then, one year later, I headed back, only this time with my wife Sharon. We timed it perfectly, and the fast pace of the rut wasn't quite fast enough for my brand new carbon matrix. Giblets. How are you? Good. I didn't know you were coming so early. Lone wolf. Put the pedal down once I got the green light, man. You're good. Hey, Tell what's John going I? on? Hi. The boys in the truck here before they drive off with it. <laughs> hey, say hi to Dudley. Hey, buddies. Well, hopefully the rain's out of here. Well, Y'all have a good hunt. If it's November 6th, uh, I don't mind rain. <laughs> Stay off my buck. Uh -huh. I'm saving one back in the back. All right. Hey. I'll give you a replica. You will. <laughs> <laughs> That's mighty nice of you. Is that your hog wagon right there? That's the hog wagon. Sweet. We're leaving for Louisville tomorrow. Come yeah. on out. I'll get these guys out here. This one you think? Yeah. I sold that one to a um, Good shot. For kids, I believe the best way to keep them involved with archery and the best way to keep them happy with archery is make sure you don't have them shooting targets that are too far away. If you've got kids shooting, bring the targets closer. Kids enjoy video games. And they like video games because most of the time they can win them. Now if you put a target too far away from your kid and all he's doing is missing, 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 well that's not going to be any fun. I know I don't like to miss. So if you've got a kid, get bigger targets, keep them close, keep them hitting the target, and they're definitely going to be a lot happier and it's going to be a better sport for your family. So Here's a look at several really nice bucks that I had had encounters with but just couldn't quite get the job done. Now most of my hunts are DIY hunts, hunts with buddies, or even places where I've just knocked on a door and got permission. So I know what it's all about to go to the Midwest and see good deer but not necessarily have the opportunity every single time. Knock On TV is also brought to you by Under Armour, always lethal, Nikon, your trusted name in optics, and Yamaha, ATVs and side-by-sides built to get you there and back.
Yeah, baby. This food plot, we've been seeing bucks cross this and we've been seeing does come and cross this creek right here. Behind us there's a nice creek and there's a trail that that Jeff has actually created right here. We're hunting with the lone wolf guys and uh, it's, I mean, it's a dang near cow path right here. So this is where they're crossing and we couldn't get here because of the wind. We were watching all the action from 150 yards across, but we just came here and chainsaw down this cover. So we got shots. The only tree over here is this, this thing, man. Not a drop of cover on it, so I got two camo flexes on the bottom of my stand. I've bent them up. So when I'm sitting down, I should have perfect cover. Lone Wolves and Alpha Maxes, some Easton Full Metal Jackets. November 8th in a cold front. Perfect recipe for success. There's a deer in the water. Here we go, hot doe coming at us. With a buck on her, with a buck on her. He went down, dude. Can you believe that? Perfect, exactly what we wanted, only they didn't use the dang trail. I had to shoot through the brush, and I tried stopping him in the only hole I could find, and he went two steps further, and I, I could still see daylight behind my pin, and when I shot, I seen that limb. Did you see that limb shoot off? I seen the limb shoot off, and it hit him in the, in the back leg, unfortunately, but the good thing is I must have hit the artery, because He's right across the creek, piled up, right there. Wolf is a great company. They make good products. They're quiet, they're comfortable, and what's sweet about them is they have the trick features that us bow hunters are going to appreciate. They've got great climbing sticks. Not only do they have an adjustable step to where you can move them in the position you need to to comfortably get out of your stand, but they also go together really quietly. There's a hole on the back side that fits right into the screw on the next step so that they go together perfectly and then they, they have a strap built in so you can go ahead and strap three together and throw them right onto the stand itself. All the stands have two dimples right here in the seat. That's where the, the, the top sticks go into and then they also have you know an integrated piece right here where the sticks go right there. So you can just go ahead and strap your sticks right on onto your pack. And if you still got your backpack, you can go ahead and throw this thing right around the top of the the top of the stand and and you've got a perfect situation. So if you want a quality stand, don't cut any corners. Get you a lone wolf. The guy's first uh, buck find right here. Smoked this guy about an hour ago and uh 
Midwestern whitetails in November, it does not get any cooler. This buck came in on a hot doe, textbook, actually swimming down the creek. We couldn't get that part and came up through the thickest part of the dang creek bed. Had a perfect trail right there in front of us and didn't even use it. Came through the thickest stuff and unfortunately I deflected um, my arrow off a limb, but fortunately after that, I connected with a vital artery. So we were able to get this thing, seen him go down and uh, brought my little guy in here. Good job, he found him, found him for us. So Midwestern whitetails, stay with us. We're gonna have uh, some more action with this Hoyt Alpha Max, I'll promise you that. Pull him, dude. Dude, here, you can do it. Pull that thing. Get him, move him, yeah. what are you doing? There you go. Oh yeah, it, that was an inch. Ooh. Come on, my double D drag out. Oh, the big old guy, isn't he? Yeah. Super buck. Look at the neck on that thing. LW baby, got the wolf in the UA on Ninja Mask, the G.I. Joe Storm edition. Let's do it, yeah. Closed captioning provided by Trophy Taker, the maker of the world's best fall away arrow rest and the shuttle T-lock broadhead. Great achievements have a way of creating even greater expectations, especially when the achievements are greatly unexpected, like an uncompromisingly rugged hunting binocular built to defy the elements, yet whose high-resolution optics also defy dawn and dusk. The all-new Pro Staff 7, outdoor life's great buy for 2011. It's what you'd expect from Nikon at a value that is unexpected. place. That's why you need a side-by-side -side that's even tougher. The 2012 Rhino 700 FI from Yamaha. The toughest, most off-road capable side-by-side -side out there. Rhino. Real. World. Tough. Tell you what, we found the perfect spot. We've got a bean field down here to, to our right, a thick, thick bedding area right here, and the bean field is just tore up from deer coming into this bean field. Um, back up here is a big pasture, and this is just a just a natural. It's a flat. I hunt a lot of flats in Iowa. This is a big flat, just a runway right here in between thick bedding. We got food sources on both sides. We've got a wind that's coming straight across like this, so it should be perfect. We went ahead and got the climbing sticks, put two lone wolves up there, got our camera stuff up and in. And uh, man, I got some anticipation is high. I love Illinois, it's November 4th. I've killed a lot of deer on this day. Between now and the 10th is my killing days here in the Midwest. So we're going to climb up here. It's late morning. We're going to go ahead and, uh, well, I think I got to clear a few pieces of limbs and stuff, but we're going to go ahead and give this thing a hunt. So stay tuned. Hopefully, got a big old Midwestern Illinois whitetail coming up.
November 4th, Illinois. What could be better than that? Beautiful sunset right now. We've had a great day. It's a little bit windy, but I'll tell you what, we've had does going through here. We had a small buck go through here, and there's awesome sign in here. I'm with my buddies from Lone Wolf, Jared told me to come in here, so this is, uh, we've got our hopes are high right now. We've been... Shoot her, shoot her, shoot her, shoot her, shoot her. The Easton Tracer is a lighted knock system that works by passing by a magnet. I have a magnet that's pretty much stuck right to this steel screw that's on my arrow rest. So as soon as my arrow passes by that magnet, that knock turns on. And after 15 seconds, it just sits there and blinks until you wave it by a magnet again. It's awesome for one, confirming where you impacted that animal. And two, it's awesome for helping you find your arrow you know, especially if you pass through. These tracer knocks are awesome tools for improving your recovery. Not everyone has a camera behind them. You know, I, I'm lucky I can just rewind the tape and watch and see exactly where I made the hit. You know, if you don't have a camera behind you, then a lot of times you knowing for sure exactly where you hit the animal can be the difference between you finding that animal or going in too fast and bumping it and not recovering it. So. If you haven't tried these lighted knock systems that are on the market, I strongly encourage you to go out, buy a pack. They're fairly inexpensive, but I can promise you they're great to watch fly through the air and they can definitely help improve your recovery. Easton Tracer Knocks. Check them out. Yeah, baby! Monster box right there. Brand new Hoyt Carbon Matrix. Illinois, I'm here with my buddies at Lone Wolf. Came in, put these stands up. I'll tell you what, we put these stands up, I don't know. An hour and a half ago, we came in here, scouted this travel corridor, and all of a sudden, my wife's behind the counter, or behind the camera. She said, uh, big buck, big buck, big buck, turned around. I just seen a big old wide sucker come running in and stopped at 20 yards downwind of us. And boom! Got the Easton Tracer knock blinging right there. So let's go uh, look at the knock. The buck piled up on camera so we know where the buck is, but still gonna do the same old thing, find that arrow and follow the blood trail. I'm pretty sure it was an absolute perfect heart shot, so let's do it. Got 
Got the bling bling right there. The Easton Tracer Knox. Got that uh, Easton Axis, the nanotechnology. Duravanes, good broadhead. Did a perfect, perfect job. What a gorgeous buff. Wow, look at the beans on that thing. Look at the beans. Perfect shot, too. Tell you what, here in Illinois, November, you just never know. You never know what you're going to get. And when a buck with a frame like that, look at the size of those beams. Literally, instantaneously, I'm sitting there doing a little quick talk to the camera, and next thing I know, you know, my wife's running camera. She's just, you know, buck, 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 buck. I turned, and by the time I turned and was grabbing my bow, all I could see is that big old sucker coming at me, and right away I knew that's a shooter frame, that's for sure. Pulled back, literally two seconds time, he stopped, hit our wind and stopped, took one look, and tell you what, one look when you've got a bow shooting an arrow like that is too long. Perfect broadhead, perfect spot. Perfect buff.